hello guys welcome to Microsoft ASP.NET MVC tutorial on how to create registration process login process authentication and session we are in third tutorial now third part in this part we'll talk about authentication and how to put the username in home page when user logged in that is in successful login we'll put username of user in home page let's create it We are in home controller at first we have done this much work already we have created action result of register which will show the registration form and in http post method of register will receive the form and save that data in users table and in another action result we are creating a form to receive the username and password and in another action result we are receiving that user provided username and password and checking whether that is correct or not if that is correct we'll take them to main page otherwise we'll we'll take them to same login page now we'll uh, do something more here mm, at first look at to our login.cssml there we have provided editor for in password also now you can make that uh, editor for to a password box by just saying it password for okay let's check it out While this loads up, let's see our VS Code. Here, when user gets logged in, we are redirecting them to main page, and if they don't get logged in, we will be taking them to the same login page. How this login process is happening here? When this behavior user logged in is created with this statement. In this statement, we are looking for users table with a single row that is if that row in if any row in that database table named user contains a username with the user provided username then this must be equal to that database username and the user provided password must be same to the password in our table and when this match then there must not be null value if there will be not not null value then we'll redirect them to main page okay while redirecting we'll add something more here okay let's check it out because it's a genuine username and because 123 is a password we have changed this field from editor for to password for and we are showing we are seeing this in a password form let's log in this must redirect to our main page continue okay now we are um, see watching our main page now let's change something here in home controller in home controller while redirecting our page to main page we can send the username here in this way new curly bracket opens username equals to user dot username in this way we can pass username to that main page of home controller and in this home main page of home controller will retype that username by putting parameter string username that username will be stored here and let's pass that username to our view by using view bag view bag dot username equals to username now when this username is passed to our main page 
that is mp.css.html let's some change something there to display the username to display the username since now we haven't displayed the username only you are logged in is there instead of that we can put hello username you are logged in in this case we will write uh, hello because you are logged in okay let's put that code in the main page let's put that code here okay what what is happening here is checking if vivek.username is not null that is if vivek.username is not null that is there must be any any value to display that yes to tag with hello vivek.username if username with because is passed then hello because must be shown there let's check it out okay for now when we redirect to main page there is nothing after that we will see a question mark with username and that username must be displayed before this line okay let's check it out at first let's move to home login some breakpoint is there in main page let's continue it okay let's put our username and password login now we are redirected to main page with the parameter username equals to because you can see this in our URL also now there is a another message appended here that is hello because you are logged in welcome to home page in this way we can create authentication process and show the users username in our main page okay guys thanks for watching don't forget to see our next tutorial on how to make session in asp.net mbc